Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and as you're listening by the title, today is part two of my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. Um, if you haven't seen part one, I will link it in the description box below um, or up in the cards, whatever I remember to do. Um, so yes, without further ado, let's get into part two. Okay guys, so the first two palettes are being decluttered purely because the shadows have gone bad. First one is my Urban Decay Moon Dust. I absolutely adore this palette, but I I wouldn't be I wouldn't feel safe putting it on my eyes, so sadly that is being decluttered. Um excuse the state of my hands, I have a puppy. Um the next one's this Gourmand Girls one, and unfortunately same again the shadows have gone bad they don't perform and they smell funny now um gutted but that is two in the declutter pile and then there is the bye bye birdie palette from colourpop this palette is so beautiful however i'm not a fan of their press glitters and i cannot for the life of me make the super shock shadows work on my eyes um and the rest of them are colors i already have in my collection so i am going to pop this in the declutter okay good start steph good start um the next one's another color pop one this is the lush life and it's very reflective um but this is the colour story. I have not tried this on my eyes yet, so I will be keeping hold of it to try it out. And then next up is this Lime Crime Venus 3. Um, I keep promising myself I'm going to use this, but I don't. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to let this one go as well. Crikey, I'm doing better than I thought. Oh, <laughs> I'm doing better than I thought I was going to. And then the next one here is from Labelle, and Labelle is a UK indie brand. This is the Color Splurge. I don't need that. And I haven't tried this on my eyes as yet. I've just swatched it. Um, it looks beautiful. They're all mattes, which gives me an excuse to dig out my uh, my singles for the sparkle. So yes, this will be going nowhere. And then while we're on the uh, subject of UK indie brands, this is Glisten Cosmetics, the Totally, totally Botany palette. Um, oh, this shade here. Look at that. I do love me a green if you are new. Um, if you're not new, then you will already know this. Um, but yes, it is absolutely gorgeous. These mattes are really nice too so yes this will be staying okay so the next palette is from likely makeup this is the pressed pigment palette ugly um that's the outer box and then this is the palette i have not tried this on my eyes yet but I am super excited to. This colour story makes me really happy and it's anything but ugly. Love this and I will be keeping it. And then this is one from Makeup by Lisa, which is another UK indie brand. This is I Love the 90s. And at first glance, you would think, why would Steph want this? It's neutrals. But let me give you a glimpse. Just of a few of these shades and you may be able to see why. They, this is a really great companion palette. Of course, they are all shimmers, um, but the formula is beautiful as all of the nine pan palettes, I'm losing my hair there, all of the nine pan palettes from Makeup by Lisa, I absolutely adore. And yeah, there's no exception. So this is going nowhere. And here we have another one of my 50-50 makeup palettes. I believe, I wish it would say on it, I believe this is winter. Um, or is it fall? 
Ah, no, it is winter. It says Santa baby. Of course it's winter. This is stunning. Firstly, let me show you. I haven't used this one on camera as yet, but I had a little play with it. But they are, look, that's perfect Christmas colours. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yes, that obviously will be going nowhere. Okay, on to the next pile. Let's start there. So this is the Nabla Cutie palette, the Wild Berry. And this is absolutely gorgeous. This is more of a toppery shade. It's Alchemy 2.0 look at that it is absolutely gorgeous i love this little palette it's a really good one for if you're in a hurry don't have to think too much about like the look i love it and then this is one i haven't actually tried on my eyes yet this is from essence and um, this is the dancing green eyeshadow palette and for obvious reasons, well, obvious reasons. Oh, crikey. And I think it's obvious why I chose this. I love greens, but I haven't tried that yet, so that is going to be staying. Um, next up, this is the, oh, the snake palette, or the, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the new one, well, it was new when I got it from Sigil Inspired by Tammy Tanuka. I had to have this because it's green and it's got a snake on it. Um, for those of you who don't know, I keep snakes. I love them and I can't wait to use this. Beautiful. I love the formula from uh, Tammy Tanuka. These next three palettes here are from SP Cosmetics, which is another UK indie brand. Um, all three of these will be staying because I love them. So the first one, oh, I can't remember the names of them. So the first one is the monochromatic yellow one. The formula on these is beautiful. I'll just show you these two here. Um, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> how beautiful are they absolutely gorgeous and then we have the pink one absolutely stunning and the green one i love all of these these are going nowhere and then moving on to colored rain this is the very cute palette this palette is adorable i love it um, in particular, the Pinkleberry shade, which is difficult to see what I'm doing here. Um, it is a beautiful duochrome. Absolutely stunning. Um, I love the formula. The formula of the mattes is amazing too. So this one is going to be staying. Not doing so good here. <laughs> this one here is from We Makeup, um, which is a European indie brand. Um, I did make this one myself, as in I like, chose the shades. Um, I love the formula of the We Makeup shadows. Let me see if I can show you. So, it's one of the shimmers and one of the mattes. So, let's look at that. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Um, so yes, I definitely won't be parting with this. This is a colour story that obviously I put together myself. And uh, yeah, we'll be going nowhere. And then we have the By Beauty Bay Pastels palette. In my the first part of my uh, collection and declutter, I did declutter the Utopia but then I pulled it back in. Um, so yes, um, it's a good accompaniment, I believe, to the pastels. These are really nice pastel shadows. I love the formula from By Beauty Bay. So again, that one is staying. So the next palette is from Strobe Cosmetics, which is now Shroud Cosmetics. This is the Divinity palette. And just look at that color story. Absolutely 
stunning i cannot wait to to get playing so going nowhere <laughs> okay so now on to some abh palettes um i do have another one i believe um in another pile we'll get there so this is the riviera i love this this is just such a gorgeous color story um this shade as you can probably see by all the the dents in it look at that look at that shade it's so pretty and then we can't not swatch the green look at that yeah definitely not going to be parting with that then we have the subculture um which is just gorgeous i love a grungy color story this shade here is just magical look at that as it catches the light um so yes that's going nowhere and then i have the Alyssa edwards which oh looking at it no i can't part with it right those three are going nowhere sorry <laughs> if you've come here for a huge declutter um i decluttered quite a few in the first part <laughs> um next up is from luna beauty this is the life's a drag facelift palette again i don't need these and this is the color story you've got half neutral half colorful and then the three shimmers down the middle i haven't popped this on my eyes yet so it's definitely not going to be going anywhere um next up is another two palettes that i haven't tried on my eyes yet so the first one is from metamorphosis which is a us indie brand i love this brand oh i have the lily croaks palette also this one this one hasn't been on my eyes yet um i did pick up a couple of other bits along with this palette so that video will be coming up at some point but i'm so excited to try this oh i didn't say what it was called the linda dazzle beautiful and then the next one that hasn't been on my eyes yet this is the p louise love tapes going solo and let me just get rid of that i do not need them and this i picked up because i felt like in my collection i'm quite lacking these kind of gray and taupey gray shades um so yes i am super excited to be playing with this i'm thinking i might actually do kind of like a smoky eye maybe i don't know it's not something i generally do but yes i love the formula of the p louise palettes so yeah this one is obviously going to be staying okay now the next two palettes i will be decluttering um i will explain um so the first one this is the viper queen by peachy queen cosmetics um you can't get hold of this anymore i loved playing with it um i had a terrible terrible experience with their customer service um they basically tried to blame me for their mistakes and it was it was just awful back and forth emailing one minute they're saying it's been sent the next minute they're saying oh is your e is your address a postal like po box and i was like no it's the same one that every other brand has no issues with um and yeah i had to even with me forwarding the original email with my full address on they still wouldn't have it that i was wrong so and that was ordering these um this i haven't put on my eyes um and honestly i don't want to um there are plenty of indie brands with amazing customer service that i would rather i would rather give my custom to so that's the bad note out of the way but yes both of these are being decluttered so next up i have these three little palettes these are from midas cosmetics so the first one is the green tea macchiato um 
I think it's pretty obvious why I chose this. I've had a little swatch, but I haven't tried them on my eyes yet. And then this is the Pumpkin Spice Latte. Look at those oranges. Oh, they look so pretty. And then the Decaf Chocolate Raspberry looks like this. Um, so yes, I picked these up because I haven't tried anything from Midas Cosmetics and I really want to. So they are not going anywhere. Next up is this little palette here from Technic. This is Captivated and this is the colour story. I have not tried this on my eyes yet. I picked this up because I haven't tried the eyeshadow formula from Technic and I've heard some really good things about it. So yes, I figured, yeah, I'll pick a little blue one up to give it a go. So not going anywhere. And next up are these two. I always put these together because I would use them in conjunction with each other. So this is the um, Amethyst Obsessions palette from Huda Beauty. And then we have the Pink Neon palette. Um, these go really well together. Um, haven't used them in a while. These I am going to hold on to for now, but if I haven't used them by my next declutter, they will uh, they will be going. So for now they're staying. And then I have the newer Sugar Pill Fun Size palette. This is the Fun Size 2. And oh, I am so excited because I have the original. And look at those shades. Aren't they just beautiful? Um, yes, this is going nowhere. I haven't tried it on my eyes yet. And yeah, that's they're my kind of shades. Okay, so next up, I have some palettes from Colourpop. And I don't know why I keep that outer one. Let's get rid of that outer box. So the first one I have is Cherry Crush. And this palette is absolutely stunning. Um, I wanted to compare it because I have a main squeeze. And I wanted to see how, just how similar they are. Oh, is there enough between them to warrant keeping both? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I love this, but then I love this too. Oh, crikey. Um, I'm going to pop that aside as a maybe for now. Not, uh, oh, am I actually going to use it? Am I? Yes. I'm going to keep hold of both of these. If I haven't used this by my next declutter, it will go, but I just can't part with it right now um next up are these two mandalorian ones there's the mandalorian and the child um these are going nowhere look at those shades i can't put it so that you can't see everything um this one i haven't i haven't tried yet and it says that wherever he goes i go um this looks beautiful I cannot wait to try it in probably in combination with the child palette and this is the child palette I'm sure you all know what this looks like um, this is oh, just such a beautiful palette such a beautiful palette I am gonna swatch a couple of these because I just think they're so pretty and just look at those absolutely gorgeous um so yes definitely staying and another one from colourpop this is on cloud blue um i haven't tried this on my eyes yet but i really want to so yes i'm going to be keeping that Next one is the High Tide from Colourpop. This was a gift from my beautiful, wonderful uh, friend and sister Erica over here on YouTube, Erica Conga. Uh, this was a gift. This, the quality in this palette is outstanding. I mean, you've got... Oh, look at that. Let's just pop these on here. Just 
just look at those. They are stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, so yes, this is one I highly recommend if you can get hold of it. I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, I highly recommend it. And <clears throat> and then another ColourPop one I haven't used yet. This is the um, ColourPop and Disney Hocus Pocus Witching Hour. Uh, this is a colour story. I 100% picked this up because I love Hocus Pocus. Um, but I do love the look of this colour story also. So going nowhere. So next up is this little palette here from She Glam. This is Glam 101. Is it just called Glam 101? So sublime. Um, I haven't tried this as yet. But I do really want to. I want to see if this is better than the the other formula. Um, so yes, this is going nowhere for now. Um, their formula isn't really one of my favourites, but it is really good. And they are so cheap. Okay, so now we have four of these little palettes from Juvia's so this is the sweet pinks um absolutely stunning I love these and then we have the berries again absolutely stunning palette then there is the violets another amazing little palette um these are all great to combine and then the Nubian Royal um oh, just beautiful absolutely beautiful this one does have a pressed glitter but i do love the pressed glitter formula from juvia's let me see if i can kind of show it off here just look at that that is with no glitter primer just straight onto my hand absolutely stunning is stunning so yes these four will be staying um next are two newer ones that i picked up after seeing steph of steph's beauty stash using them i fell in love with them i had to have them i love the packaging that they come in the bottle um but yes so the two i picked were wine which is just such a beautiful purple color story i love that there's the pop of gold and red i cannot wait to try that and then this one obviously i was going to pick the green one um this is dirty martini and just look at those shades i am so excited to try this so excited i don't know why i've left those in but i have but yes these are going nowhere Okay, so moving on, this is an eyeshadow palette by a new UK indie brand. Well, this is their only product at the moment. This is inspired by Shay and it's Imagine the Queen You. Um, I love the packaging. I think this is really classy and let's get rid of that. This is the colour story. I think this is going to suit a whole range of people. I haven't tried it on my eyes yet. This is going to be coming up really soon because I really want to try it out. I love discovering new indie brands, um, especially in the UK, um, where it's easier for me to get hold of products. Um, but this looks beautiful. I cannot wait to try it out. Okay, and next up is a palette from Ace Beauté. This is Falling For You, and I haven't tried this on my eyes. I believe this is the newer formula. Um, I have no issues with the original formula. However, I just, I don't know, I wanted to give this a go, and I do love the colours in here. You've got this real beautiful orange, which is showing up a bit deeper under the light. Um, it's more of a brighter orange. Then you've got this red, purple, I love the look of it and I can't wait to try it. So yes, going nowhere. <laughs> and next up is this little La Chica in um, Morada. This is from Cara Beauty. Um, and I've swatched this 
um, but I haven't put it on my eyes as yet. It looks really pretty. I'm loving, in particular, the bottom half. Obviously, the top half is all neutral. Um, but yes, this is going to be staying. Let's just let me just show you because this is a topper shade that looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So yes, this one is going nowhere. And another one that I haven't actually tried on my eyes as yet. This is from C Color Cosmetics. Um, I believe it was Leora I saw using one of their palettes. Um, but this is Purple Rain. And I 100% chose this because Purple Rain is one of my favourite songs. Prince is one of my, well, he's my kind of ride or die. I adore him. And this looked beautiful. This did kind of come apart in transit. So I've pushed it back in and fingers crossed it will all last until I do a video with it. But yes, that's got not going anywhere. Um, another one that I picked up... Um, that I wanted to try from the brand. So this is Wicked Sisters. I've heard quite a few people talk about these, uh, this brand, and I've been meaning to try it for a long time. So yeah, this is Invocation of the Spirit, and this shade smashed in transit. I've tried to get as much of it from the edges of the others as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this palette. It is stunning. And now we have two more Ace Beauté palettes. The first, the Oceanic, 100% won't go anywhere. This is one of my favourite palettes ever. It is stunning. And then there is the Nostalgia. And just look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. These palettes really, I find the colour stories really inspiring. And the quality is just beautiful. I will show you this one actually because... This orange, I'm hoping it will translate better on camera. Yeah, you can see it's real beautiful orange. Um, yeah, these are two palettes I would highly recommend. I love them. Um, on to another palette that I haven't actually tried on my eyes yet, and I haven't tried anything from Hip Dot. So, this is the I don't know how you pronounce that C note, C note, and this is the colour story, the blues and greens and like the yellow golds, really cool to me. I can't wait to try it. I have heard mixed things on the formula, so I'm looking forward to finding out for myself. And then, oh, it's one of my V Cosmetics palettes. This is Vixen and 100% not going anywhere. I love V Cosmetics. They're one of my favourite brands and I can't wait to do some more playing. I'm not doing very well here. <laughs> okay, so next up is from Labelle, UK indie brand, another UK indie brand. This is the Magnifique. This palette is beautiful. I, I have so much fun. Every time I do a look, I love it. So let me just swatch a couple of these for you. Just look at that. Absolutely stunning. So yes, the Magnifique palette is going nowhere. And then moving on to another VE Cosmetics palette. This is the Green Witch. And this is the colour story. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. This shimmer here. And this one here. You just, just look. Just look at that. that one for it. Yeah, absolutely stunning. How well you can see. Beautiful. Um, yes, again, it's from V Cosmetics. It's going nowhere. Okay, so the next two palettes are from Miali Beauty. And this is the brand. It was Blush Tribe. Um, and then when that closed down, she started up again but as Miali Beauty. I have the Ayubia, which is my favourite of the two. 
and then this one is the Yasmin. Can I fit them both in? And oh, I, I just can't part with them. I love them. I know obviously the brand is um, no longer available, but I love these and I can't part with them. And obviously if I do part with them, then I wouldn't be able to get them back if I changed my mind. Um, right, next up is one from the Gorman Girls. This is Sugar Shop. This one, fortunately, has not gone bad. I love this. It is beautiful. Just a really beautiful colour story. You've got your really soft shades. You've got some brights, a bit deeper. I, I love this. It's not going anywhere. I am going to get rid of the outer box. Okay, so moving on, I have the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. I did declutter the Desert Dusk, um, but this one I am so looking forward to trying. I love the tones of these shades here, these kind of blush shades. I love the look of these shimmers. I can't wait to try it out and I'm hoping it doesn't disappoint. I have heard some good things, so fingers crossed. And then we have the Strawberry Dream palette from Luna Beauty. This palette is stunning. The Luna Beauty formula is amazing. I can't part with that. We've got an awful lot of keeps in this round. <laughs> so yes, if you were here for the uh, declutter, it's not going so well. If you haven't seen part one, then uh, I'd declutter more in that, I believe. But I haven't gotten to the end of this yet, so who knows. Um, the next up is a palette from Nomad Cosmet Cosmetics. I can't speak. Um, this is the Haunted Europe palette. Now, Nomad is one of my absolute favourite brands ever. Just look at that. It's just... Oh, magical and then this is the color story and oh my god i love this so much and oh these shades i mean i hate doing this and ruining the imprints but i do need to show you because nomad has one of my absolute favorite formulas ever absolutely stunning this palette is so worth picking up um yeah beautiful not going anywhere okay guys so this is from heather lou cosmetics and it's in collaboration with mua abby snm um it's called it's a vibe i did declutter the ella palette that i had from them in part one but i really wanted to try let's get rid of the uh, slip i really wanted to try something else from them and this is an all matte palette and you've got a couple of really neon shades it's a nice mix of mattes that will give me a good excuse to dig out my single shimmery shades um so yes i haven't tried that yet so it will be going nowhere oh the next palette well i have two these are from colt candy cosmetics this palette here the playhouse palette this is the first palette that i reviewed on my channel so this is so special um i do want to give the formula another go now that my skills have improved a bit <laughs> um but yes this i i wouldn't part with for anything just it was my first one and then this is the heavenly urchins again i want to keep hold and just see what I think of the formula now, now that I've tried so many other brands, um, but this wouldn't go anywhere. Um, sentimental. And then we have this palette from the Beauty Crop. This is the Pina Colada. It's another UK indie brand. This one I haven't tried yet. Also, oh, this is a running theme. This is why I needed to declutter. And I'm not doing very well. Um, but yes, this one is going nowhere. I love the colour story. Don't love the shiny background, but that's neither here nor there. Next up is the Sweet Delight Sweet Series palette, Macaron from Moira. Is it Moira Beauty or Moira Cosmetics? Does it actually say? 
Moira Beauty. Um, I love the packaging on this. It is so super cute. And then this is a colour story. It's all pastel. It looks stunning. I can't wait to try it. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a pain to do up these boxy ones, but I'm, I'm looking forward to giving that a go. And then we have this palette here from BH Cosmetics. I had to get the 80s remix dance. Um, I'm an 80s baby. Um, and this is the colour story. The quality is amazing. I love it. And I love BH Cosmetics. And I'm really hoping that they can pull through the issues they're having now. Because I know they have filed for... Is it chapter 11 bankruptcy? I don't know enough about it to talk about it, but um, yeah, this is going nowhere. I love it. I love their newer formula. Um, another palette I have not tried on my eyes yet. Again, running theme. So this is from Linda Halberg, LH Cosmetics, and it is the Spectral palette, and it looks so beautiful. I don't know why I haven't tried it on my eyes yet. I think it just gets lost in my ever-growing sea of palettes and uh, next up is another palette from VE Cosmetics and this is in collaboration with Alice Bazaar it's called the Freak Show um, oh, just look at that this row here in particular is screaming my name but I love the look of these you've got this shimmery black and the shimmery white I can't wait to try this um, again, not tried on my eyes yet, um, but I couldn't see myself parting with any palettes from V Cosmetics anyways. Right, so next up is the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Surge Palette. I have only used this the once the other day and I fell in love with it. It is stunning. These neon shades show up super neon on the eyes. I was so impressed just absolutely stunning they did such a fantastic job just love it the only issue with the shimmers is um like it applies so much better with your finger um but if you use a more open bristle brush it's really difficult to pick up any product if you use a really flat one it does work better um but it's still better to go in with your finger and dab over top but i love this so much the mattes in this palette are 100 percent where it's at they are pigmented they are so easy to work with i love this okay so next up is this palette here from fanatic beauty charm for you it's a fluorescent eyeshadow palette and um, this was a gift from my best friend um brina and i haven't tried it yet the plan was to try it for new year but then uh yeah, everything went downhill and it didn't happen. So this will be coming up soon. Uh, but look at this. I I can't wait to try it. This is beautiful. I love the colour story. And yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mattes. And the rest are all pressed glitters by the looks of it. Yeah, I cannot wait to try this. Fluorescent eyeshadow. The only fluorescent eyeshadows that I own. Okay, so next up, oh, I can just fit this in. This is the Golden Skies palette from Jolie Beauty. Um, I also have the, oh, crikey, I can't think what it's called. Um, that was in my part one. Um, but this I haven't tried on my eyes yet. But I am so excited too. The background really puts me off um, looking at the colour story properly and seeing the combinations. But I am really looking forward to trying this. I think this is going to create some amazing sunset looks. So yeah, not going anywhere. Okay guys, so I have another couple of piles here. Um, again, still, why do I do this? Keep these boxes. I have no idea why. I think possibly because this is white. Um, this is the KVD Vegan Beauty Edge of Reality eyeshadow palette. 
and it's you can take this middle bit out um the shadows are in so that it is uh recyclable i've only swatched this so far i really really need to try this out on my eyes because it looks stunning look at this oh i really need to try this soon um but yes it's not going anywhere it's stunning to look at the shadows look beautiful when i swatched the shimmers on my hand i was really impressed so yes looking forward to trying that one out and then we have this is the urban decay naked honey now i had in my head that i was going to keep this i do not reach for this at all the only shades that really appeal to me are kind of the two or three in the middle um yeah it's just too brown for me so i am going to be parting ways with the naked honey um i already know my daughter's gonna want that and then next up is this is the little odin's eye alva 2 mini forest palette i love odin's eye i love their formulas this palette is so beautiful it performs beautifully these two in the split pan are just oh, they are stunning i won't be parting with that and then i have two of the kaleidos futurism palettes um I believe you saw the other one I had, the sci-fi green in part one of the declutter. Um, I have the electro turquoise. They all open different ways. It's bizarre. Um, but this is the electro turquoise. And oh, just look at that. What a colour story. It's stunning. Um, need to start playing with these seriously stuff crikey um i need to go on a, a low buy at least um and then this one is the astro pink and this one looks like this again i love this color story the shade here i i can't wait to try these out yes definitely going nowhere I love the formula of Kaleidos shadows, in particular the shimmers. So next up is another ABH palette, and this is the Jackie Ina palette. I only recently picked this up. Um, I've used it once so far, and that was in a palette bingo collab with Erica, Erica Congrove here on uh, YouTube. And yes, the five shades were five neutrals so i still have yet to play with these kind of beautiful red and purple shades um but yes i loved it the quality so yes going nowhere and then we have this colored rain queen of hearts and yes it's very neutral i cannot part with it i just can't so yes it's staying and then another uk indie brand this is with love cosmetics and this is the cocktail palette and this i've only swatched so far but i cannot wait to play with this with love cosmetics do just one of my absolute favorite press glitter formulas so i'm looking forward to trying this and then another one that i haven't tried on my eyes yet <sighs> Crikey, running theme. So this is from Suva Beauty. This is the Magic and Ecstasy palette. It is all matte on the top row and then the black matte. And then these five are pressed glitters. I haven't tried this on my eyes yet. So I will be keeping a hold of it to do so. And then next up is another Kaleidos palette. This one is the Flower Punk. I love all this packaging. I am a sucker and it's got snakes on it and i keep snakes i love them um i love how this opens so you can slide it up you can take it off um i love this palette this color story just really speaks to me especially 
kind of this section over here but the, every shade in this palette is beautiful performs amazingly well this is staying okay right so the next palette up was a gift from my beautiful friend victoria vicky i love this so much look at this packaging um so this is the glam light and michaela palette and just look at that i used this just the other day um in my karma chameleon and i fell in love with it it is so beautiful oh there are no words i'm so incredibly grateful to victoria for for getting me this palette it was just oh just such a kind thoughtful gift i love this and so yes obviously this is going nowhere okay next up do you know what i forget i have this i really need to dig this out some more so this is the sigma untamed palette and this is the color story i love it it's so grungy and oh i really need to dig this out and use it some more 100 percent will be keeping this palette okay and next up i originally wasn't going to pick up either of these um i am a huge huge prince fan as i mentioned earlier this one i haven't even taken this bit off so we've got the two i can't remember what the names were anyways these are the two palettes in collaboration um with urban decay and prince or the prince estate this one oh crikey um is possibly more my color story um but i pretty much 100 percent picked them up because it's prince originally i wasn't going to but then yeah i had i had to so yes i haven't actually tried them out yet but i will do soon okay so we are on to the finales <laughs> um this one is the new by beauty bay palette love notes new one for valentine's and if i can get into it um it's still in its packaging it only arrived yesterday or the day before and i had to have it um it looks stunning i love all of these kind of purpley and blush shades it's just a really beautiful valentine's palette i cannot wait to try i love their formula um in these style palettes so yes there will be a video coming up soon and finally i have from uh, unique beauty which is another uk indie brand we put it in this way so this is the japan fashion magazine collection uh konnichiwa and there are three palettes in here so volume one is let me get rid of these i don't need them uh, this is volume one i cannot wait to try these i've seen nikki raven using these palettes from uh, unique beauty and it looks stunning and oh i'm so excited and there's a uk indie brand again look at that so this one is volume two absolutely gorgeous and then we have volume three let's get rid of that so volume three look at that they look beautiful i cannot wait to try them it will be my first time trying the formula from unique beauty i'm so excited so obviously these three will be going nowhere okay guys so let me know how you think i did i thought i did pretty well um but counting it up i did miss two palettes um well three if you include the nomad Whis whistler i can't think i've just been filming no i've been filming i've been doing a live i've just been doing a live um I've got the new Nomad Whistler palette, um, a little palette from Pout and Shout, 
and also another V Cosmetics palette. Um, so I can add an extra one onto that. So in total, all of the palettes, including the decluttered and uh, the not decluttered ones, um, there would have been 278. And uh, I decluttered of them 42. So I think that's pretty good. I'm I'm feeling good about that. It does mean I still have 236, but 42 is a nice chunk. So I'm I'm happy with that. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you think below. If you think I did good, if I've decluttered anything, any palette that's like your favorite, then apologies it it will be just because either it didn't work for me or i have other palettes with the same color story or i think someone else will give it more love so yes apologies if i have decluttered your favorite palette um but yeah if you like this please give the video a like because that really helps me out if you are new here as you can probably tell by my face today, I love to do really colourful looks. I love to support indie brands. And in particular, I support a lot of UK indie brands because, well, one, they're easier to get hold of for me. Um, but I love discovering new ones. And I will only use cruelty-free products. So if all of that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please do hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you when I upload a video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon, hopefully. <laughs> Goodbye.